Uh, here we are, a small e bike meet. Cycloanalyst, car on. I think that's a lion controller, isn't it? Yes. Additive bag. They are good, damn. It's kind of like a neoprene hard plastic thing. <laughs> Super light, isn't it? That. It's a cyclone kit. What's the cyclone kit, Dad? What is it? What what power is it? That. Uh, allegedly, 1680 watts. And it's at what? 48 volts. Yeah. That's a mid drive. I'll keep showing you this side, and then we'll flip it round. Just standard bicycle gearing. That's an XT, isn't it? Yep. It is. Go on, give us a spin on the old uh, freewheel. Beautiful. It sounds like resistance, doesn't it? Done it. The old posh Chris King hubs again. Output from the motor, shielded. Smashing. Is that from one mid drive that's a bit of an hand custom? You've all seen this one before. This is the board <coughs> of the other video. But we've changed the front sprocket. Right, Mike? Yeah. Better chain line? Much better chain line. Much better chain line. Bit, a bit less top end. A bit more torque, it's taking about five or six mile an hour off my top speed. Yeah. It, it's the Bafang 750, isn't it? it? This is the 750, yeah. And battery's been fine, you've got it a year now, haven't you? Not far off, is it? Not be far off, maybe nine months, ten months, maybe. Yeah, she's fine, yeah. No, no problems at all. I've, I've left her sat for a period of a couple of months at one point, um, and I've not noticed any drop in battery power since then. And top speed, you told me this before, but the video got ruined because of wind. On throttle alone, on flat ground, 30 mile an hour, probably. If I'm pedalling, 40. So you're only really restricted by your kind of gear ratio at back, I aren't you? I'm restricted by gear ratio now, and really I could do something smaller here yeah, just to give me a bit more of that top end back. This is only a 42. I think it were. Uh... You go bigger up front, if you get less engagement, and back, you your chains up. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, yeah. Do they do a bigger one than that? Because that's an aftermarket. No. I think somebody Just flip it round, Mike, so I can see it in light, that one. Somebody's, um, <coughs> somebody's making an adapter of it, yes. so you can put normal... Normal chain rings on. Yeah. Yeah. That's got that drop at back. You can see there's a, there's a good, nearly an inch there, up where it pushes it back. Oh, yeah. I've had no problems with chain set, no missing teeth on any That's <laughs> yet. That has made a big difference, that, because when we built it, the chain was, was getting dragged right over to one side on the bike, weren't Constantly it? Constantly falling off as well. Oh, really? All the time, all the time. And how, how much with that little chain ring? Um, Do you remember? I've got, I want to say, 68 quid, but plus shipping from America. Right. I don't think anybody was selling them in the UK when I bought it. There is somebody selling them you now. Um, for anybody bet, who's thinking about buying one kits. as well, there's a kid selling tools for putting, for keeping bottom bracket tightened up. Um, which is Where is he selling them? Just online? Online. If you do a search online, you'll find them. Um, it's a kid in America who's selling them. There's somebody in the UK importing them. He wants. They're fairly expensive, but for anybody thinking about putting up a fang on, they're absolutely essential. Yeah, because we had to tighten it up once, didn't we? We've got to tighten it up once. And, and have you done it since? And it's still now, you can see the motor moves a little bit. Oh, yeah. What's a good? <laughs> yeah, we need to tweak that. Yeah, once tightening up again. Got some kind of torque brace adding somewhere, eh, hey, Dad? Yeah. Torque brace, that's what I'm just what I'm looking for now. So you've got two fine examples of a mid drive yeah. there. You've got like a custom job here with all kinds of trickery on it. Big, powerful headlight. Uh, lots of kind of bling bike parts on this. This is all like fully customed up Mad Max style. 
It's, it's like a settee, that thing. And then Mike's bike's a bit more kind of plug and play. Straight onto a boardman. It's like a hybrid, isn't it? It's like a road hybrid thing. Right, there you are, guys. Hot fun in the sunshine. April's here and it was freezing last night, but today's, uh, today's been really nice. So uh, there you go, little update on the boardman and a quick look at the, uh, he's on a Trek, Trek Fuel, mid-drive. <laughs>